This is the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. So what we're going to cover today is how to convert an access point from, um, you know, a normal AP to Unleash. So you've purchased it. Um, maybe you were running it on Smart Zone or Virtual Smart Zone or even Cloud, uh, and you want to convert it over to Unleashed for whatever reason, maybe in a lab for testing. Um, so what you're going to do is a couple things. You're going to go to our support site, um, so ruckuswireless.com. You can click on support, log in, and download the Unleashed code there. Um, so get the Unleashed code for your AP that you're trying to convert, you know, an R510 or R610, 710, whatever the case. Um, the next thing you want to do is factory reset your, your AP. So hold down the reset button on the bottom of the AP for several seconds. The AP will reboot back to factory default. Um, and we know that it's in factory default because if I look at my Wi-Fi, my available Wi-Fi, we see one here called Island. And Island with the, um, and it's got the, the second half of the MAC address of that AP. So I know that that is, um, it's actually trying to, um, look for a mesh, right? So it's isolated in a mesh, so it's island. Um, and so so that's good. So we know that's in factory, uh, factory default mode. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my laptop into uh, the Ethernet network, so directly into the AP if you've got a you know, a uh, AC adapter or into the same switch, PoE switch, as the uh, access point if you don't. And then I'm going to hard code my IP because when I uh, factory reset that access point, it's going to come up with a 192.168.0.1 address. And it's actually on a sticker on the bottom of the AP if you wanted to have a look. But So we'll change my adapter settings. Uh, we will look at my local area network properties. I'm sure you guys know, all, all know how to do this, but we'll be 192.168.0.2. We'll give it a class C subnet mask. I don't need a default gateway because I'm going to be on the same subnet. So we'll OK that and get rid of that. Um, and let's just make sure that I can ping that guy first, which I can. So I know 192.168.0.1 is alive. So the next thing I'm going to do is just on my browser, just go to 192.168.0.1. And it should, oh, sorry, not HTTPS, HTTP. Um, it's going to tell me that it doesn't have a legitimate certificate, so that's fine. So the username is uh, super, and the password is sp-admin. And again, you'll find this on a sticker on the bottom of the access point. So, um, you know, from this point we could, but what we want to do is we want to go to under maintenance here. We're going to go to upgrade. So I'm going to click upgrade. I'm going to click local for local file, and then I'm going to browse that local file. So in my case, the file is actually on a flash drive and this is an R510. So we'll upload that file. And, um, so it's going to tell me it's going to take a few minutes. So it's it's going to, you know, upload that file and reboot the AP. Uh, and once that AP reboots, then um, I should see it advertising with a configure me SSID. Um, and so at that point, I'm going to connect to that configure me I, uh, uh, SSID. There's, disconnect your LAN first. Um, and from a Wi-Fi side, connect to configure me, uh, and then go to unleash.ruckuswireless.com, and you should have uh, connection into the into the uh, APs management. So, um, so it's done upgrading, and you see it's uh, reboot in progress here. Okay, so the control is flashing. So I'm going to unplug my LAN connection which should bring my Wi-Fi back on the line. Uh, so here we now have a new SSID called configure me uh, 1891E0. So that's the second half of the MAC address of that AP. And we'll connect to that. No, oh, not yet. Not quite done booting up yet. 
and we'll connect to this guy again. Okay, and then uh, once we're connected, we'll go to unleash.ruckuswireless.com. And it should give me the, uh, so we'll continue. Right, so now I am in Unleashed and I can continue on and, and um, configure my Unleashed. So it wants to know if you want to create a new Unleashed network or if you want to join Ruckus Cloud as a cloud managed AP. So um, there'll be there's another video on how to configure and get Unleashed up and running, but that's uh, that's how you convert your AP from a regular AP to an Unleashed model. All right, so thanks for joining and have a great day. See you next time.